So you're brand new to 3D printing, and you, after about an hour, eight hour print, you wake up the next morning to find this. And the, problem, the biggest problem is you look back at your extruder, and it looks like this, it's all caked up. I'm gonna show you how to fix that here in just a moment. Hey guys, so I was printing some of my Maker Coins, and I left my printer last night for eight hours to print. And I woke up this morning and found a big old gob of, of I call it spaghetti, <laughs> on the build plate. And so now I'm trying to get everything cleaned up. So what I do is I have the heater, I have the, everything preheating right now. And as you can see, it's already starting to break loose from the extruder. It's nothing to find a clog or, you know, big old mass of, of filament that's just caked up on your extruder. And before you panic and start pulling on it and everything like that, just fire up your machine and just preheat everything. Once you get everything preheated, usually it just starts kind of breaking away just like it did there. When I came out this morning, that was rock hard on the end of that nozzle. But by just preheating it, it starts to fall loose and then you start getting everything cleaned up and, and then start printing again. Now, there's many different things that can cause a print failure. In this case, I know exactly what it was. Normally, about every two, three prints, I'll take and I'll wipe down the build tack with uh, 90 or 91% uh, rubbing alcohol. And I just, I was in a hurry yesterday, I didn't do it. And what happens over time, when you, especially when you're printing with wood PLA or you're printing with carbon fiber, it will somehow make it a really slick build plate. Uh, even though it's build tack, it'll still get kind of a, slick, a slickness to it. And so if you wipe it down with a fairly coarse paper towel and rubbing alcohol, usually it takes that slickness off of it and everything sticks right. But anyway, that's, that's just going to do it for this video. I just want to do a quick one. Um, I know there's a lot of people who get just barely getting their printers now. And so I just wanted to put this out there that if you wake up to a big old ball of spaghetti on your build plate and you see your extruder all caked up, Rather than take a hammer and chisel and start working out that way, just preheat it and it'll save you a lot of time and trouble. You guys have a good one. Hey guys, so that's going to do it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll get notified when the video comes out. If you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page. You can support the channel from there. And if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you'll love them. Yeah, I think you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.